you've ever tried to use an older PowerPC based Mac such as an iBook G4 or maybe a PowerBook and you've tried to use YouTube on them well you've probably already realized that that is nearly impossible the videos buffer every five seconds and skip and stutter mainly as a result of how bloated the YouTube website has become as well as the Adobe Flash Player which is necessary for playing back videos. Now some people have had some luck with using the HTML5 video player option that YouTube does provide. I've attempted to do that really to no avail. It still stutters and is unusable and unwatchable. The video and audio skips pretty much like a scratch CD. And a main workaround to that is a free program called UView which you can download if you type in UView for Mac not to be confused with the UView digital TV box which seems to propagate most of the search results. This program basically replaces the YouTube website interface. It's dedicated as its own app. I've gone ahead and put it on my dock down here. And it works very well for YouTube. You can log in to your YouTube account, pull up your subscriptions. We have a simple sidebar over here to access most of the main directories that are listed on YouTube's home page. If you want to view your subscriptions, you can do that right here. But that's all well and good on a Mac, but what about a PC? Now, I'm actually not talking about just any regular old PC. If you have a somewhat modern PC with decent system specifications, then watching YouTube and using YouTube on just using just their basic website is just fine. However, if you have an old and possibly obsolete PC, as I do, an old 2000 or 2001 HPE PC with a half a gigabyte of RAM, a very slow hard drive, and a very slow Pentium 4. You're going to be sorely disappointed that YouTube's website is unusable and unwatchable. But of course, there must be an alternative. Well, it turns out that, just like UView, there's an alternative program to using the YouTube website and it's called Minitube. They're showing the Mac version of this. They do sell one for Mac, but it's just like the UView app in that you can access all of the different various features of YouTube using a desktop app, which better utilizes the available system specifications. Unlike UView, it's not a free program. You do have to pay for it, but the author does give you a 20-day free trial and when you click buy now it actually brings you to a PayPal website you can see this computer seems to be having a bit of trouble with their own website the money due is in euros 8.99 and if you use a currency converter you'll find out that that is equal to eleven dollars and sixty one cents in US dollars really not a bad price for this kind of a program Okay, so I just installed it now and it's telling us we have 20 days, purchase a full version. I don't want to use the demo. This is the first time I'm using this program, so what I'm going to be doing is, you see I just did a couple of searches before just to make sure and verify that this program actually works. Let's go ahead and just do a search here. Okay, it's automatically playing. That's one thing I've noticed is that this is not an exact clone of the UView app for Macintosh. It's more of a desktop replacement for perhaps if you have the YouTube app on a smart TV. It's mainly its main intention is to replicate the experience of the YouTube app on TVs. So for example if I do a search here just let's just do a search here quickly and we press enter it goes ahead it loads up videos it propagates the search results and it automatically plays the video that's at the top of the list. Yeah, I didn't do anything. It just starts playing that automatically. Kind of nice. You can use a bunch of different features on your keyboard to use the interface. And it's actually nice and fast and responsive. And if you go ahead and hover over the video, it shows you the description down here and what would be the status bar in a program like Firefox. If you play a new video, it also shows you the description for a few seconds on the main screen and then goes to play it. YouTube usually automatically picks the video resolution based on your computer's uh, internet connection speed. That's all well and good if you have a decently fast computer, but if you have a very fast internet connection, 
but a very slow computer that's not going to work out so you can set the resolution just by clicking it you have 720p 1080p 360p oddly enough no 480p that's a bit interesting and you can see the video is nice and responsive it's not stuttering and skipping we've got some regular controls up here we have a stop button pause fast forward I think that is but that actually doesn't fast forward the part of the video it just skips to the next video on this list right here the search results and we have some options here which I think that brings us back to our previous menu and a full screen button which does work if I were to try if I were trying to play even a 240p YouTube video in full screen mode using just an internet browser this would never work it would just glitch up and probably crash works just fine you could skip and control the various, uh, you could skip over parts of the video just by dragging this jog wheel and adjust the volume. And that is distorting the speaker. <laughs> I've got a really cheap and cheerful speaker hooked up to this computer. I don't really use it for music listening. So up here we have a couple of options. We can clear our searches. I'm assuming this must keep some sort of uh, basic search history. And we have some playback controls, play, stop, and stop after this video, and some keyboard shortcuts, skip and previous, and I have no clue what this would actually do. Manually start playing, and we've got playlists we can move down, which I'm assuming must only work if you're playing, maybe not. <laughs> then we've got find video parts, that's interesting. I, there's a few features in here that are a bit cryptic with their explanation as to what they actually do. And if we click open the YouTube page, it actually brings up our web browser. So it opens it up in the YouTube page, the video we're currently watching. So if we want to watch it on our, in our browser, we can do so. Let me close that out. And we can also subscribe to YouTube channels on this app. But unlike using UView or the YouTube interface, when you click subscribe, it actually doesn't subscribe you to the channel in the way you're probably familiar with it where it remembers it and saves it as saves it to your YouTube channel so whenever you log into your YouTube channel it recalls that you've been subscribed to that channel and then you click, click subscriptions on the YouTube page and view your subscriptions so when you click subscribe it's not actually subscribing you using your YouTube channel there's actually no even not even a way to log into your YouTube channel here so you have to subscribe to all the channels you want again if you already have done so using your regular YouTube account using a regular web browser and it has an open in browser control which is a bit redundant because it does the same thing as open the YouTube page does you change view here full screen compact mode which that's useless and now what is it done there we go we have float on top and some share we have Twitter Facebook buffer and email okay now I've just learned something actually to get back to your previous search there's no back button you click this stop button here and that brings you back to the page you were at previously let me do another search here hello and thank you for calling the corporate consumer hotline for stereo dust particles unfortunately though I still have to say that UView is the best YouTube website replacement program it just works and it's really nice they definitely put a lot of thought into how it's going to work uh, you have easy access to all of the different video categories that are usually on the YouTube web page. And you can access the same thing because if you go back here and you go to your search page, you see up here you have three different tabs, one for search, one for browse, and one for subscriptions. And if you click browse, you just get a bunch of thumbnails, again, mainly intended to replicate the TV watching experience of YouTube. And if you click up here to subscribe, you'll see it only lists the channels that you subscribe to into this app. It won't show you your dedicated YouTube subscriptions you've done on the YouTube website. But it is convenient. It doesn't really do much of anything. It doesn't actually show you the videos. It just shows you... It's kind of like placing a bookmark to the person's videos. That's Hello, essentially all it does. It doesn't actually tell you that they've uploaded a new video. So if I click this video here and play this new video... You can see it just plays... It just shows a bunch of their uploads. It doesn't actually upload... A, it doesn't actually update you to when they've uploaded a new video like UView does. So if you're stuck between a rock and a hard place, between 
how to use the U how to watch YouTube on a slow, old, or possibly obsolete Windows PC and not a Mac. The best alternative is probably going to be MiniTube, although I'll probably stick with UView just because I like using it. Of course, it's not for Windows, so there aren't that many choices for YouTube website replacements for Windows. So while I don't normally recommend paid programs, but I just wanted to demonstrate and show that there are alternatives for Windows-based PCs that obviously you can't install the UView app for Macintosh on.